230th meeting between Auburn and Georgia Tech goes the way of the Jackets, 4-1 to one the final. And coming off a relatively disappointing series this weekend with North Carolina, nice bounce back win for you guys, A.J. Murray. Oh, it was a great win for us. Devin came out and threw the ball really well. Uh, defense played great behind him, and we were able to get timely hits when we needed him to score some runs. Yeah, you talk about that defense. We show some of these spectacular plays, four double plays, a heck of a throw in left field from Gonzalez. All in all, Danny Hall has said it. The defense will keep you guys in games. Right, just like last year, we turned the most double plays, I think, in the nation and set the record. So our infield's always going to do that for us, and having Gonzo as a weapon in the outfield. Just really nice. Now, AJ, coming into this game, you had had a lot of success. Struggled a little bit early in this game, but tell me about your approach coming up to the plate in the eighth inning when you hit the big home run. Uh, my last at bat was kind of just, uh, he was struggling with his fastball early in the count. I knew Gonzo hit the hit ball earlier. So uh, I was trying to see one up, and I was able to get one on the plate. And it was long gone. Yeah, it was long gone. <laughs> Lastly, 17 and 7 now after this win. Eight straight on the row. A tough stretch, or on the road, I should say, a tough stretch coming up. Oh, uh, yeah, we got Louisville this weekend, and we um, go to Virginia Tech after that. So they're two hot teams that we're going to have to compete against. But uh, this win's big for us, especially coming off the loss this weekend. So uh, everything's looking up, though. Pleased with where you guys are at, though, 24 games in? Oh, completely. Everyone's still, um, spirits are up, and everyone's playing hard. So we have nothing bad to say about this team. All right, buddy, thanks for the time. Thank you. All right, that's A.J. Murray for Roddy Jones. I'm Brandon Gauden here on RamblinRack.com.